Hey guys, so we are now expecting Apple to release iOS 26 developer beta 3 as early as tomorrow, July the 7th. And I wanted to get on here quickly to share with you guys additional new features and changes that we've noticed on the second beta. But most importantly, I also wanted to answer the question that you guys have been asking, is it okay to update at this point? Beta 2, beta 3, moving forward, perhaps even public beta 1. Keep in mind that Apple will also soon release the first public beta where everyone basically can try out iOS 26 early. So we'll talk about the release date, should you update, and some additional new features in this video. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is this sensitive content warning pop-up for FaceTime running the latest iOS 26 developer beta 2. You see here that audio and video was paused. The iPhone thought we were showing something sensitive over FaceTime. It gives you the option to resume the video, as you can see right there, or end the call. So you can resume audio and video or end the call at that moment so i guess apple trained their actual on device intelligence to detect any sort of nudity and things like that now we stumbled upon this by accident my wife over the weekend bought a few new dresses she went to call her mother and as she was showing those dresses over facetime to her mother then this popped up on the screen asking if she would like to resume the audio and video as she was using facetime to show her dresses her new dresses to her mom on this application so you see right here obviously this is a new prompt something that we stumbled upon by accident and we do not have the sensitive content warning option enabled for facetime on our iphones so i guess this will be standard unless apple changes this with future beta so yeah something that we you know accidentally stumbled upon here on the weekend in regards to privacy for facetime running the latest beta all right so now let's talk about should you update to ios 26 the next developer beta in or public beta as the next beta quickly approaches you guys have been asking is now the right time so let me go ahead and show you some of the benchmarks here that i ran on this iphone 16 pro max so this one right here this is beta one so take a look at those numbers so 3353 and the multi-core score is 8113 and now let's go to beta two which is the first one here on the top you see there a drop on single core score 2802 and then we have 8121 so the multi-core score is pretty much identical, but the single core score did drop slightly on the second beta, the current beta. Now, I do have a few issues with overheating. I've encountered overheating on this iPhone. I've sent a ton of feedback, but in terms of overall, you know, when you're browsing through your iPhone and interacting, launching and closing applications, the app switcher, all that stuff is working as intended, but obviously there's going to be bugs and issues. It's still beta two. Now, with that being said, I wanna talk about the battery life as well, because you guys have been asking, will I be okay with the next beta and the battery Live currently within the beta and I have to say honestly it's hard to get through your entire day if you're a heavy user with the latest iOS 26 developer beta 2 so if battery is your main concern then obviously this second beta is still not ready we have to wait until the third beta test it a little bit in the first public beta test that a little bit and then I'll let you guys know if it's good enough to actually run on a primary device if you just really really want to try it out obviously you never want to run a beta on your primary device but i know there's a lot of excitement and most of you guys probably want to install the third beta or perhaps the first public beta now with that being said when can we expect these new updates as i mentioned the third developer beta will most likely become available tomorrow monday the 7th so july monday 7th will most likely see the third developer beta now a week after that or a few days after that apple will most likely release the first public beta this is where everyone can actually download the beta to try it out before the official release later in September but I'll keep you guys posted in regards to should you update to iOS 26 obviously the second beta I wouldn't recommend right now we'll talk about the third developer beta here in the upcoming week or so and I'll keep you guys posted thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace